In this video, we are going to show you how to handle a burette. First, let us identify the parts of a burette. So, this is the burette and this is the body of the burette with the calibration of 0 to 50 milliliters. And this is the tap of the burette and this is the tip which is located at the bottom. It is really important how you handle the tap of the burette in a right way. Always use the non-dominant hand to operate the tap like this, which means if you are right-handed, you have to use your left hand. When handling the burette, initially take the burette and rinse it with distilled water. After cleaning well, open up the tap and clamp the burette upside down to drain water. Once the water has drained, close the tap and clamp the burette upright again and place a clean glassware underneath. Fill the burette with approximately 5 to 10 milliliters of the solution to be used. Then remove the burette from the stand while holding it vertically. Fill the burette in a horizontal position and rotate the burette using your fingertips in a way that the entire inner wall of the burette get rinsed with the solution. Then discard the solution to a glass beaker. Now fix the burette again to the burette stand and make sure that it is not tilted. After making sure that the tap is closed, fill the solution using a funnel into the burette.
make sure to add a little excess of the solution so that the meniscus is little above the zero mark. Then open up the burette tap slowly and let the excess solution out making the meniscus align with the zero mark. Finally, make sure that there are no air bubbles inside the burette. When taking a reading using the burette, keep your eyes in line with the meniscus of the solution inside the burette. If the meniscus is aligned with the burette mark, take that value as the reading in two decimal places. If the meniscus is in between two marks, then the reading should be the lower line value plus 0.05 cubic centimeters. The least count of the burette is 0.05 cubic centimeters. Thank you.